everyone. Welcome to the show I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages come together, discuss all things animation, creative, and why Issa is playing Minesweeper in the middle of a recording. I am your host, <laughs> Issa, Issa Patiola. <laughs> Jacques! Jacques! <laughs> and uh, joining me today, as ever, my lovely co-host, Carrie Shawcross. Uh, hi, my name is Kara Shawcross, and I have a weird energy today. Uh, w That's with me is uh, our our regular special guest, amazing special <laughs> guest, Aaron Wynn. Yeah, Ooh, doing amazing. More she's like a wave. Aaron she's a wave. wave. Feeling wiggly and weird Cole. today. Cool, I didn't introduce you yet. Oh, get shovel. You, Cole, <laughs> you don't exist yet. And our and our, and our special guest for this week, my voice crack because I'm so excited, except for one aspect of him, Cole Galleon. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Hey. You wait, you also hey. My shoulders hurt. I was doing that for too long. Oh, no. oh. Got some weak shoulders, boy. Uh, what? What do you say to me? <laughs> uh, hey, so I know we have a topic sheet, and I know Issa, you're kind of hosting this week. But first thing, Cole, tell us about your gross beer and why I'm upset I about have it. I pickle beer. It's, it's yes. delicious. No, it's... It tastes zero percent like beer, one hundred percent like pickles. Buy it now. <laughs> Specs.com/slash Rooster Teeth TV. Yes. Your chance right now. There's Wait, is that official? There's no, 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 ever had a beer this good. It tastes just like pickle juice, 100%. Here's my problem. A. I think pickles taste bad. Come at me. Ooh. All right, I'm on my way. Uh, uh, B. Hey. That's all I've got. I just okay. don't like pee. You're drinking hey, pee. No. One, one, here, one, one point right here. Yeah. Hey. More pickles for me, man. That's you fine. Don't like pickles. There's more pickles in the world for me. But now, I can take pickles, squeeze them into my beer, and thus have a pickle beer. Yeah, here's my problem pickle. though. Now there's one less beer I can drink. Now there's <laughs> now there's danger beers, and I have to look at a beer before I drink it. Which is, <laughs> do you like sour beer? Yeah, I love sour beer. It tastes like a, a sour beer is pickle beer light. Mm. Mm, except for the fact that it that. doesn't taste exactly like a pickle, which is what you said this does. So. <laughs> This tastes one hundred percent like pickle. And I'm again. I'm just you're putting that in the pro column, and I just kind of I think you have it. <laughs> I think it's flipped. I'm tired. I'm tired of drinking pickles and getting a tummy ache. All right. So okay. I'm finally glad I can have pickles. something that I can drink pickles and not get a tummy ache. What? what? I can't even. <laughs> I, I can't even can with drink, this one. Can drink pickles. When I was a small child, I made a short video where I just turned the camera green and I talked about living in a pickle jar. <laughs> God, that's so on brand. Yeah. <laughs> if there's like that tweet, um, that tweet uh, hashtag of like, oh, what's the most on brand school thing yeah, or like it was, childhood it thing was you ever best. done? That sounds like Cole. It was like a noir. Like I was like, oh, a I noir woke up today, and I still live in a pickle jar. <laughs> My pickle son. Left home today, started pickle college. Cool. And uh pickle I'm sorry. S syndrome. I'm sorry that I hate your son. <laughs> uh you hate my son! Uh, no, well here's the thing, I hate him, but I won't ate him. Oh, I thought you said uh, you ate him. Okay, that's fine. That's no, fine. No, I'm not gonna eat your pickle son. I'll eat that's your normal good. son. But I'm not gonna eat your pickle son. Uh, what oh well, I'm not that's saying that I I okay, hang on. <laughs> This is a weird story. I'm not going okay. to eat your son. I definitely I have notes on cannibalism. I definitely won't eat your pickle son. And but I'm you just might saying eat my regular son. I'm not even saying that I might. I'm just saying <laughs> that there's more of a chance of you eating my regular son than my pickle son. Mm. Yeah. 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 I feel confident <laughs> saying that for a couple reasons. But yeah, I feel okay. <laughs> If that's put it on a shirt, whatever. I don't give. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel. We got to I, I stand it. by that. Uh, Carrie, twenty thirty. I probably. Issa, well, I won't be able to. What are yet. the chances of you eating either of my sons? None. Let's okay. Hang on. Let's walk it back. <laughs> Issa, stance on pickles. Uh, 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 are you are you are you against them or are you wrong? I. <laughs> First of all, Carrie, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your next words carefully. Issa. That was when uh, when Stephen Colbert did the Colbert Report. That was my favorite <laughs> yeah. thing. Is he used to say uh, George Bush, uh, best or great? Oh, uh, uh, it was oh dang it, good president or greatest president. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Issa, I'm pickle, on pickle the, stance. I'm That's on not, the 
middling i'm on the neutral middling pickle uh, uh, spectrum mm. here's it the thing is... about pickles that cucumber pickles aren't even the best pickles i like mm, I, mm. eggplant pickles are the best pickles Ooh, pickled plums are we, are we going in that plums, direction umeboshi Ooh. oh uh i'm like number one dessert Welcome to I Have Pickles, the podcast where we talk about pickles. Oh, I'm out. Fucking... Brought to you by HBO Max, where HBO meets so much more. Uh, check out the Pickle Rick Expo <laughs> episode hey, of... Rick. Uh, Welcome uh, to Pickle Rick and Morty. Of Pickle and Morty. Um, <laughs> next caller, we have uh, Pickle Morty here with us. How do you... What are you doing today, Pickle Morty? I just... Uh, uh, we still have not yet let Issa guns. really answer... <laughs> Uh, we're all very tired. I don't want to speak for y'all, but I think we're all very tired. It's kind of the end of the day. It's only and, Tuesday. And that's why there's kind of a weird energy. Issa, talk about energy. pickles. <laughs> there are a few awesome things happening. Um, or, well, good things we can talk about, bad things we can talk about, uh, things we have onions about. Uh, pickled onions, I onions first I don't like those. Oh, pickled onions so good. I'm more okay with a pickled onion, if I'm being honest. Um, Disgusting! <laughs> Uh, wait, hold on. This new one showed up. Um, I'm a bird day from Carrie. Oh, I meant to put dad. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on, let me fix that. Um, oh, you're a bird dad, Carrie. I'm a bird dad oh. now. Um, <laughs> wait, it's, uh, I know I kind of missed, uh, I know I kind of missed Father's Day, but, uh... You have birds? I, well, my house has birds. Oh, um, oh okay. this is I an know. important distinction. Yeah, so a couple, like, weeks ago? I, time okay. is uh, an enigma. Time, yes, uh, yes. I started seeing like this little, like nest in like the like near my front door, and I was like, "What? What?" I like I I didn't even know it was a nest at first, but I was like, "Okay, maybe it's like mud daubers." Like I don't know what this is, and then I come to learn, oh, it's a little little baby birds. Oh. Um, and actually, so I've watched them grow now, uh, <gasps> and I have we have a picture of from like just a couple of days ago of like where they're at now. Um, Your sons or children. My, my yeah i don't i don't know you, you know they Cole could be would eat your sons i would absolutely oh, eat your sons look at them and they're weird. The side of pickles, but... so big they gotten so big oh i love i love those because like we used to have that in my old house and i would call them the council and every day i would leave for school <laughs> i would ask the, i was like council and i'd, I'd bow, bow my head and like progress on my way to school it's, it's funny once you told because yeah i talked to you about this once you told me that yeah. like i can't not see that and like do that now because like i'll just like I'll, like i'll go outside like go get the mail or something and i'll come back in and i'll just like look up at him be like carry on and then like like go in uh, but so this perfect this morning like only one was out there um but then they all like they all came back okay, so good. i guess they're, they're starting to learn but like oh, the oh, two things i just want to share bird college it's just like there's been something like so pure and like warm about like in all of these like shitty times like watching something grow like that was like it really hit me in like this really weird way um the uh the funnier thing though is like oh my god there's so much poop <laughs> <laughs> what do you think their nest yeah. is made out of that guy yeah. Yeah. Whoa, poop. Oh, there's it's like no. oops all poop it it it's is open. like a like an issue outside of my front door. Oh, no, that I'm just like I'm waiting until they're done. You know, like it's fine. We all share this earth, um, but I just like anytime I get food delivered, I kind of judge them based on like how close they put my food to the shit oh, pile. Oh no! Uh, no some of them got so... kind of close. If oh. I'm being a little honest, um, oh. but yeah, I wanted to share life with with you all because I think it's all yeah. important that we remember that. Even in the bad times, Mother Nature ca carries on. Life uh, finds Wait. a way. Did you nut? Oh, like, you <laughs> no, I delivered the line verbatim like the the, man, the movie man does. Like the movie man. That, the shirtless man. <laughs> the movie man. Oh, that's my um, favorite movie. Oh and that's God. and that's everything I had to bring to today. I I want to continue this train of Ooh. things that make us happy. Because there's another thing here that Erin explicitly said made her happy, and oh, yeah. it was about Mike Mignola. Erin, yes. could you I mean, share with us? He kind of spoiled it. So I guess, I don't know who or how, but somebody, the stars aligned, and Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy and awesome artist in general, like, legend. did Legend. Um, 
he drew <laughs> several of the Grimm from a little show called Ruby, and one of them I designed, and he freaking drew them for an auction, which is crazy. That's so they're probably cool. sold by now by the time this episode comes out, and I uh, I really want to buy them one. All. I got it. I <laughs> I've been looking no, at it, awesome. and I'm like. But I I know fans would like appreciate them like way yeah. more. I won't. I, I'll just I print out my own too. copy and just like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. cool. We should and like was... ship in and like like go to like Kinko's. Does Kinko still exist? Yes. FedEx okay. Still. It's it's Kinko's FedEx now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we should we should get like some nice prints of them or something. But like, yeah, okay, I I thought of the same thing. But yeah, it's I all those kind of things. Like, I always assume that it's some combination of uh, Jeff Yeder and Christine Brent. Who probably. Um, I think <laughs> I think awesome. it, I, yeah that like. Uh, I know Jeff was freaking out too, just because uh, he's yeah. a big Hellboy fan. But uh, they're they're some of the wonderful people, wonderful people behind like the licensing stuff we do mm -hmm. and merch. Mm -hmm. um, it's so weird because like uh, I studied sequential art in college, like that was my major. So I did not just concept art, but like comics and storyboard mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, and even like one of my like early class assignments was like um, we had to do like a pastiche project, like a an homage, or like we had to like draw in the style <laughs> of a. Uh, a famous comic book artist or graphic novel artist and then adapt like a scene from a like iconic movie so i did Ooh. i did mike mignola and i did blade runner and i still oh, have those um, i'm not whoa. gonna show them but it's just like oh there they are oh here we are yeah uh, so i drew the the knuckle avi knuckle avi i still four years later i still yeah. don't know how to say it's that whatever it's whatever suits you that day. <laughs> we know it yeah either way we know what you mean <laughs> here's Barangle. Yeah. yeah, my boy, my monkey boy. Oh, that's so <laughs> cool. It like suits his style so well, so it's just like the perfect mashup. Yeah, like the, that stark uh, contrast. The Beowulf. <sighs> Beautiful. It's Thank so you, wild. Mike Vignola. That was yeah. that. It, it was it's... nice to see after having kind of a shitty weekend. So yeah, yeah. I, can, I can die happy now. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> With my hey, uh, monkey boy. Can I can I ask a really embarrassing question? Mm. Sure. Yes. You. <laughs> You, Aaron, you said a word a minute ago that started with a P that kind of sounded like Pastiche? pistachio. What, no, what not is, pistachio. What is, I've always wondered like what that meant, but never cared enough to look it up. I Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's been a but while. No, I think oh, you God, are. Pass, pass, That's fine. You can Google it. I just, it I'm is, doing it right now. It is a, a type of art that pays homage to. There you go. Ah, a homage, mm -hmm. homage. So it's not yeah. exactly parody. Or yeah. Exactly yeah. Okay. homage. Either. It's like a okay. remix. Yeah. Remix. Yeah, so I did yeah, it's, Mike Noel and uh, Blade Runner. The that's really one. cool. Not the new one. That was the Whoa, one. so it came full circle. Yeah. Was, yeah. So he helped he helped educate you in a he certain did. way. He did. And now you have done something that has uh, now gone back to him. There you go. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah. That's cool. Circle of I'm honored. It's it, it was really cool life, to see. Life, uh... uh, uh, uh <laughs> cool, uh, I fucking... Uh, Finds a way. Did you nut again? You almost uh, went, Always. went Always. Barack Obama there. Yeah, it's oh, a little it's Americans. a little Obama. Oh. My uh, fellow Americans. Oh, no. <laughs> life uh, <laughs> finds a way. <laughs> and in these trying times. Mr. Obama, what do you way. think of pickles and pickle pee? Uh, pickles are uh, an American don't, establishment. Don't you know? Uh, no. Don't and, you uh, besmirch him. <laughs> If what does these good name, mean? If you're, if you're uh, a true American, you will eat a pickle or drink. Pickle I pee. think uh, Aaron <laughs> Aaron besmirch means uh, uh, to pay homage to. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I believe it. You know, close enough. Um, oh, oh my god! I'm so already funny. like my face already hurts from laughing. Thank you all for being just the way this you are. Yes. This is what we needed today. This makes me happy. <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen this many people in so long. I know, no. Cole. I haven't talked to you face to face in like three I know, or four we, months. We talked through the thin veneer of a uh, slack. slack. Yeah. Yeah. But no, yeah. No real interaction. How have you been? I've been, been, been all right. I've been all right. I've been a little busy doing doing a doing little busy. Yeah, Sounds no, like it. Yeah. She moved. Can you tell? Yeah, from I, the I background? moved. Yeah. I I could not tell. I was not uh, overly <laughs> familiar with her environment. That's okay. You didn't before, miss much. That's a valid. That's valid. But yeah. valid. <laughs> I immediately noticed the cat tower. How are the cats? They're oh. good. Oh, I took I took Lucas to the vet to get his teeth cleaned today. Oh, uh, I was picked him up. I was it? expecting him to be very pitiful and in pain, but actually he's like kind of very mellow. He's sitting oh. next to me right now. Um, so it's because they drugged him. Yeah. <laughs> 
He is yeah, stoned dude, out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good time right now, so I'm not. Yeah. I'm not too mad. Oh, yeah. That's how I'm doing, Cole. How about you, Cole? Excellent. Yeah, Cole, Cole, who are you? Yeah, Cole, Cole who are, are you? Before. Obviously, yeah, like... most people, you know, come to RT through I have notes. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. So, so what? If, what if you do? You want to kind of talk about who Cole, who you are, uh, and I, I mean that more in like the rooster teeth way and not anything yeah. about yourself necessarily personally. I, I didn't think we had enough time for who i am personally but no uh, I, uh as everyone at this at this uh digital table is uh mm -hmm. a man of many uh, hats D, um, uh, e table thank you e, e table yeah yeah e -table. Uh, <laughs> for all the e -table. boys um, and girls out there day job editor um i'm also a producer on a lot of our um select all brand mm -hmm. anime adjacent type stuff as well as a host on backwards compatible our uh, uh animation department gaming brand you, you're you're one of the people that does a lot of heavy lifting in uh you know yeah l live action aspects of and, and personality driven aspects of the animation department in particular correct um, yes you do a lot of you know yeah streams and stuff and you're a funny funny man and then, I mean, then like the uh, like you are funny, not pointing and laughing and going funny not, man. <laughs> not in the the Toy Story, you are a sad, strange little man. But you yeah, know, hey, you're 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 funny. Yeah, like that was a very real opposite. insult for a kids movie. It right. was <laughs> right. You are a sad, strange little man. I love that movie. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's good. Um, but yeah, um, but and we, also, we all used... yeah, go ahead, also. no, go ahead, because I think oh, you're gonna say what I was gonna say. It's it, we all used to do a podcast together, so I'm, I'm glad to be back hanging out with the yeah. Old it's crew. a fan service reunion. It was called <laughs> I Have Fan Service. I have, have fans, fans and I have to service them. Yeah. Welcome to I Have well, Anime. I have anime. <laughs> I have it. I'm wearing my shirt for old time's sake. Yeah, gone. For, yes, not forgotten. I still so that like that's I'm so proud of that shirt. It's, it's a, a pretty know. cool shirt. Because, uh, we probably uh, don't have it anymore, unfortunately. Do I don't know because it is a really popular shirt. I think, Ooh. yeah. Um, and that was kind of like what we wanted to do is we wanted to make a shirt that anyone could wear. I might like stupidly enough. My ideal situation was to have a shirt that someone would wear in a gym, and another person would come up and ask, "What does that mean?" And it's just kind of like, "Oh, it's just a thing." Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, but, and just to be clear, not talk about it because they're embarrassed that they watch anime. Yeah, to hide it and be like, oh, it's a cool show I watch. You wouldn't yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 you wouldn't get it. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's the thing, right? If you make it sound like too cool for them, then they get interested. I want to be cool too. Yeah. You can't be this. excited about things. I, As a person who gets excited about things, you can't be excited about things. Yeah. Because you come on too strong and you're like, hey, you got to watch this. Check this out. Hey, you smash your face. <laughs> yeah, eat, drink, pickles. Drink, Cole, drink pickles. Drink pickles. Drink pickle pee. Cole is a very good um, DJ, sales person. Yes. Well, he's a producer. I've recently, that's also true. Yes, with DJ. As in, oh, as in like beats. Oh, beats by Dre. No, they're beats nice. by beats by Cole. No. Um, hey, we kind of <laughs> we skip past like because Cole and I just like fucking railroaded right through this entire <laughs> oh. show. We talk about pickles and shit. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 it was me. Yeah, it was no, me. Don't be sorry. <laughs> um, uh, talking about uh, uh, like how everybody's week, you know, has been uh, Issa. How are things? How are things going with uh, recorded by Arizal? <laughs> There's kind of a big milestone okay. recently. Are, are you free? Are you free? <laughs> um, am, am I free? What does what does freedom mean? How uh, many socks do you have? <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get them? <laughs> uh, recorded by Arizal. Vlog uh, is or the prelude is officially done for first. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Congrats! We, so, okay. uh, Y'all know what that means. Now is the time. I know you've been waiting. Binge, it's go. True. Watch it now. Yes. It's true. Sign up for your um, first. <laughs> yeah. Sign up for your first trial right that now. Smart. <laughs> it is. Uh, there's an interesting conversation that we always have, and I would comment sometimes uh, early on where people would be like, I don't know if I'm interested. And I go, you should try the binge experience. And it turns out that mm -hmm. um, we, uh, most of the people in the company who have watched the show have binged it and they have a certain opinion, but I was not necessarily sure about what it would be like for people who are watching it week to week. So, um, it is definitely a curious. different experience. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Kind of, I 100% thank everyone who actually watched it week to week and still really enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. Um, 
I think the amount of people who have experienced it in binge form and people who have said whether or have questioned about whether or not they would come back week to week just for a five minute video does make me think about what it what it means for a short form narrated serial content um and how to present that so mm -hmm. i think there's going to be a lot of interesting conversations about that but like first and foremost this was definitely a test to see how things went and honestly yeah. i think it was pretty positive so thank you everyone yeah, um, yeah. we're all we're really proud great. of you Issa. yeah thank you oh, I just you to know absolutely that. You and the so, 2D team. So yes. What you're saying, Issa, so let me get this straight. What you're saying is that if you watched it week to week, you should now go and binge watch it. Mm. And then tell uh, all your friends. Be, like, no, like legit, like go, <laughs> yeah. go and binge watch it to see what is that experience like. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we, we've talked about this a lot in the past about uh, yes. in anime discussions time. about how you yeah. there is a different um, appreciation for some shows depending on whether you binge watch or watch week to week because yeah. it's, it's pacing is affected as mm -hmm. well as like your investment in it. Yeah. So um, I, I, okay. Oh, Go ahead, Carrie. I, I I was just just to, to like to that point. I was just gonna say like, you know, and I think we talked about. I got it. I've talked about so many fucking things now. I don't know where or when, but uh, <laughs> we have talked about this at one point where you know like, uh, uh, volume five of Ruby like had some story mm. issues that you know we don't shy away from. Like we you know we talk about how we're always growing. Um, there have been I've seen a significant number of people online who, you know, didn't watch it week to week. Mm -hmm. but then watch like the dvd when they came out and they'll like they'll make a reddit post it's like why do people hate on volume five yeah. i thought it was fine <laughs> i was just about to say interesting yeah and 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 that's like we're we'll super clear not saying that there aren't issues with it yeah, uh, yeah. there's issues with everything because we're you know we're we're moving and things could always be better yeah. but it, it, well, it there's there's a significant trend with some of the and, and four as well of like just you know pace wise i think we are still trying to figure out how to like do mm -hmm. a show that wasn't like a hub anymore um and and it definitely seemed like pe when people watched it as a whole they appreciated it a little bit differently than watching it week to week which yeah. you know is a lesson we can learn too because we do present a weekly show but it's in it's super interesting that's like it, it's a very new in media concept for at least like a digital like uh recorded media um the concept of uh week to week appointment viewing mm -hmm. but mm. also having to hold up in the uh binge viewing conversation mm. yeah like i mean mo i mean television has run off syndication for so long where it's just like oh make a make a show that was week to week and then you can worry about syndication later mm -hmm. and it's more more so nostalgia thing um mm -hmm. well for the yeah. longest time too i feel like it was it was more common and, and i think netflix is part of this it was like it was if you if you were going to binge something it was because you missed it like mm. you did it you completely like skipped out on it and waited until the end yeah. versus mm -hmm. like now netflix like drops a whole show mm -hmm. you know right from the get-go or in the case of some anime holds <laughs> on to it until it's all aired well that was honestly the thing that i think pushed it anime yeah. was honestly what pushed it to be they held on to it and waited anime and um, uh foreign media Mm. Karis House, um, they have a bunch of uh, yeah, J-dramas, K-dramas, a bunch of other uh, foreign media that they're... I understand the point. Like, I've talked to people who have been like, I would rather just wait for it to all be out instead of having to figure out my week around... I mean, currently I am... Me, myself, I'm currently beholden to a uh, weekly appointment show. I watch uh, AEW Wrestling every Wednesday night. Oh, it's nice. like... My favorite it anime. Is that, <laughs> it's is true. that the root beer? <laughs> no! AEW Dynamite! Oh... <laughs> Which, I mean, if you don't watch wrestling, you should. It's The Bachelorette meets anime. Like, what are you going to do? Cole, um, we have so much in common, but then some things we just divert yeah. so hard. And I just I, like... Oh, I want, to, I want to win you over so bad, my friend. Because <laughs> cut to but, a year uh, later and I'm, dr I'm down in pickle juice while watching wrestling with you. <laughs> I, I used to think I would never like wrestling. I really did think I used to like... Because to me, growing up, it was always the thing that bullies were interested in. Mm. interesting okay um this is, this i, I think i told the story of i haven't told it on here obviously uh the story of like i didn't i hated dragon ball z at first i absolutely Whoa. despised oh. it because the bully of my school wore dragon ball z shirts all the time oh. he also wore a lot of wrestling shirts and i was like oh i don't want to like something that encourages people to be mean and fight people what if so, I'll, bet, I'll bet vegeta was his favorite character like early <laughs> vegeta 
Oh, true. <laughs> not not my mustache yeah. Vegeta. Not, <laughs> not cool mustached Vegeta. Yeah. With his cool shirt. But oh, um, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Badman. Mr. But no, Bad. go back to it. Like I'm now beholden to that appointment mm. viewing. Like, I mean, I'd like that time back, but. <laughs> I'd like, well, I'd like that Wednesday. Like, I feel like every Wednesday I have that appointment. So I, I ultimately like that binge, watch at your own pace mm -hmm. type of stuff. But. I like, I definitely have, I used to be beholden to that schedule when I watched a lot of CW shows. So like The Arrow, mm. Flash, yes. um, Legends of Tomorrow. It, even like not non-CW, but still kind of part of that syndication. And like, I watched a lot of elementary. I would always kind of go to a website and then watch the episode at a specific day and then it would actually be a really interest uh, fun i guess experience at that time because um when i was watching how to get away with murder when it was airing i would always message caesar because we were both <laughs> watching it at the same time and he'd be like oh what shit and then we would like um <laughs> we would uh slack each other our reactions and like oh my god this is so crazy but now i think i'm learning that uh the more people don't have tv the more and like the more you kind of just fall out of things the more other people are also falling out of it as well mm -hmm. and now i'm like oh i am that binge experience is just so easy because it's accessible now mm -hmm. um so i, I, I think i think y'all touched on this that. last week it's also a control thing mm. Mm. like the binge experience oh, yeah. you get to watch it at your pace you if, you, if something's too much for you take yeah, a yeah. step back yeah like yeah. we're gonna wait if you get so. to that one Tiger King episode where they're watching <laughs> the security camera footage and I, you're just like, I need a minute now. I refuse and to no, watch that. <laughs> every episode That's of Tiger okay. King, I had to watch a I have a, I have a list of recovery anime that <laughs> when a show gets it's too valid. intense, I'll go and watch the slice of life recovery anime, like Flying Witch or Laid Back Camp or one of those like feel good where it's like, oh, this is just about camping. Um <laughs> I had to uh, Tiger King after every episode. I had to go watch a recovery anime because it was like this is. I oh I would finish it and be like, ha, ha, that's so crazy, that's ridiculous, and then it would like my brain would like tick and go, these are real people. Yeah, these are people oh, who actually exist in real. World. These are real like, tigers. <laughs> these are real tigers. These are real well, people. These there's are real tigers, and there's also like I've watched. I just watched a person watch someone die. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like the oh, shit they okay. put on Netflix kind of blows my mind. Yeah. Like, there's Tiger King, there's... What was that one documentary where the guy's head gets blown off? Oh my god. What was that one? I don't I can't know, remember. but that sounds... It like... was, like, based off of a, a true story. Like, it was the actual sure. footage. I can't remember now. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, it was fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I think so... they just put, put, like, an unsolved case files or something. Yeah, like well, they, 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 the unsolved, unsolved murders. That yeah. Was, that was an interesting... Unsolved murders, because they did... Sh they did put up the it? unsolved... Um, series or like they rebooted it yeah that's uh, what yeah. i'm talking about sorry it's, yeah yeah I can't it's remember not all thing. murders but it's mostly like Myster unsolved murders. mysteries yeah i'm sorry yeah, yeah mysteries yeah unsolved mysteries all oh, right um unsolved uh, m word <laughs> there was um uh i i feel terrible admitting this because it's one of those things where it's just like oh you, you don't ever really want to like say that you know about it or you've talked about it because i think it, it's kind of the idea of like putting power to like a person or a name Hmm. Um, I watched the Epstein documentary series. Mm. Oh, Ooh. I've heard that's another one that. where I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm ready to watch this. Ye I don't think I ever will be ready to watch it, this. It's it's a hard. It, it's hard. It's okay. How to put it? I didn't binge it, so it was definitely like a okay. solid hour for like every night. But it was after the first one, it took me my so a bit to kind of be like, we eventually came around to being like, okay, I think we need to finish this because. After that first one, it was like, oh, oh man, don't know how to feel about this. Yeah. But we're it is to a point like we're informed now and like we um we know when there's like uh I guess like a what's the word? A buzzword that we see in the news, mm -hmm. like Ghislaine Maxwell or more X right. stuff. Um mm -hmm. there's these like things that pop up in the news and we don't exactly we now You're saying understand topical. the yeah, exactly. Yeah. We now understand the context behind, like, why they're in the news. And it's, mm -hmm. it's fucking messed up. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like, and, and I'm, I'm a total hypocrite on this, is I have not watched it yet. I do plan on it. I just have not watched it yet. Yeah, some of that stuff that's, like, I struggle because, like, Aaron, I'm in the same boat with, like, I don't know, I don't know when I would be in a good place to watch something like that. Yeah. I also Especially feel like. real people. Yeah. Um, get Get I also feel like we're, we're some recovery anime. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that is cool. Get and, some recovery anime and some non-pickle beer. 
I also feel like a responsibility to watch it Mm. to like know what is like yeah to stay it's 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 like it's what's saying up today it's also like those are real people so we need to we need to know that these things are real and call it out yeah you know but it's it is hard i haven't done it yet like i'm not like it's not easy but it's like we need to be calling like we gotta stop letting things like that be okay yeah yeah it's not that it was actively okay but it's like it it went on for so long so long yeah yeah uh Eh. Eh. I know for me I have like the worst self-control when it comes to like binging like I either binge the whole show or I I just don't watch it um like with Japan Sinks I know I keep talking about it Mm -hmm. um like I told myself okay I'm gonna watch one episode and I I ended up watching the whole thing like I (laughs) literally cannot stop myself when it comes to shit like that so I feel like if I did ever end up watching like the Tiger King or uh, the Epstein documentary, like I would be traumatized in like one it's- sitting. Oh. <laughs> so that's another. Re- that's for me personally. Like yeah, I don't have self control. Not- he, uh, who who is the who is the director on that one? Who is the director on Japan Sings? He's the guy uh, who did Evan Carberry. Masaki. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's gonna have is two you anime of the year. He's gonna have two anime of the year discussion this year. Honestly, <laughs> he did. Eyes okay. he did uh, oh yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow! Holy crap! Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, have y'all seen helping... uh, the night is on walk on the night is long walk on girl? I wanted to see that when that was in theaters, mm. and nobody wanted to go with me. Oh. I went and saw it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Because I asked in the fan service Slack if anyone wanted to see it, nobody said anything. I thought I did. <laughs> I don't. I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay. Uh, I have the I have the Blu-ray. Archive? I'll come. Okay. I, I'll find a way to get the Blu-ray. Oh. Just chuck it at her okay. from a distance. Yeah, just I wanted to see it. I uh, it, well, hey, this could be a good time to talk about anime and not mm. Tiger King. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to fan service. Fan service segment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a new movie coming out in 2021. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah, it's the Demon Slayer movie. Oh. It's the uh, the Demon the Train, train arc. Yeah. Oh it's, my uh, gosh! With so a, good. I'm very excited. Okay, so you have, have you read the manga? I I'm not, not caught up, but I know what happens. Okay, can I say I'm something I'm familiar with this arc. Can, can, I, can I say something really embarrassing? You yeah, haven't watched Demon Slayer. I haven't Please. watched it yet. Ooh, I really oh, want to. Okay, okay. I Cole, I went to yours and we watched like two episodes of it, and we I was did, like, "This is really good. I can't wait to watch more of this." And then like, it, I just like didn't get back to it. I'm definitely going to. I like. I loved what I saw. I'm just tired. This is fair. <laughs> oh, well, I, well, it's no, like I, because I started reading the manga and I, it didn't click with me for so long. Mm. I didn't go back and watch it again until episode 19 hit and everyone was like, this is the greatest anime ever made. Mm. And I was like, what? what? What the hell are you talking about? And I went back and watched it. I was like, this is really good. Um, okay. And then I also picked up, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge proponent for Shonen Jump uh, subscription. Me too. It's like yeah. two dollars a month, and you get yeah. every issue from there on out. Yeah. Oh wow! Um, so Cole, Cole, uh, also the the Viz app. Yes, is like connected. True. I, yeah, I use the Sony Jump app, me. so it's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. Hell yeah. Yeah, Cole, com- um, Cole was the one who uh, eventually convinced me to get the Sony Jump you app. You get like, manga okay. two days after Japan gets it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang. So That's it's like they have the current episodes. They have the current volumes of My Hero. Mm-hmm. Um, you can catch up if you want to catch up on that. Um. Oh. Spy Family is one of my favorite series. Chainsaw ever Man. Come out. Oh, Chainsaw, yeah, Chainsaw Man. Man. I need to read the new chapter. <laughs> Came out Monday. Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, catching up with my hero as a quick tangent. Oh man, that was boy howdy. We're in for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. But the Demon Slayer one. I wanted to ask Aaron Cole. Did you wait? So Cole, you didn't. You kind of binged Demon Slayer. Aaron, did you binge? Demon I binged Slayer? it to episode nineteen. Then I finished the season out regularly, and okay. then I went and binged the manga. Oh, uh, I wow. I watched it not since episode one. Maybe I think three or four episodes had been out. And then after that, I watched week to week. Oh, and, crazy. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't like I understand why, like, um, some people wouldn't have jumped on. I, it definitely falls in within that, like, by the third episode, it gets good rule. Like, sure. it, it kind of falls into that. Yeah. Um, so I think I did start at episode four, but I, I found it engaging enough to keep watching. It wasn't yeah. like I got to episode three and I was like, this is the best anime ever. Right. It was just like, oh, this is entertaining enough for me to continue. Yeah, the, I uh, definitely got that from what I watched. I just, I also like went through a really weird phase where like I just 
couldn't bring myself to watch sub stuff for a while just because like I didn't want to read uh, in like my, I mean there's a there's my limited a window. Now. Yeah, I might check I might check it out. I honestly like I we talked about this a couple weeks ago, but like I, I've been watching the Hunter Hunter dub. I mean, I told I myself it. this weekend Apparently, I was gonna start and I didn't, and I'm really disappointed in myself. Apparently we started watching I I'm you probably passed me now. I started watching the dub around the same time that you were watching it, Gary. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, unknowingly that like that's so that's funny. That's really funny. I wonder, I I wonder really if we saw something. The stars, the Hunter yeah. Hunter I, stars I'm are like alive. Uh, six episodes into season two or something like that. Uh, I'm still I'm still like episode three. Okay, okay. But I'm but I'm about I'm about to hop back into One Piece. Oh, no. oh good luck. That's a commitment. Good yeah. luck. That's a that's a that's a job. Yeah, I feel <laughs> I feel bad about job. jumping into Hunter Hunter and they. There's only 70 episodes available and like I think like 140 total or something. One piece is like I got I'm at I'm in the three I'm in the three hundreds right now. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, check how it's many, over a thousand. Episodes, it's over a thousand now. Uh, episodes there's nine hundred something. I have thirty one. Yeah. Thirty one? Fuck. According to I, Google. Um uh, I'm in the nine hundreds. <laughs> or, no, not the I'm in the three hundreds. I'm in the three hundreds. But okay. I hit a very bad arc, like a notorious.ly bad arc. Oh no. That, oh, okay. That is canon, so you have to watch it. Oh no! So if I if I did my math correctly, which is probably I didn't, uh, that means there's 310 hours of One Piece. <laughs> w- way more than that, right? At, 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 like like uh, wait, hang on, hang on. You're probably right. You're probably bro. Right. I went to arts. Well, one, nine, one piece is math. also one nine thirty one also... times twenty four. Oh, or actually, God. I'm gonna do nine thirty one times twenty because there's times twenty the yeah, it's credits 20. and stuff. Uh, times well, twenty. No, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. With one Piece. One Piece does not have credits. Oh, no credits. Oh, one ooh, one, gotcha. one Piece has an extended intro to not have credits. Okay. Nine thirty one oh, times twenty four divided by sixty. Three hundred seventy two hours. Yeah, sounds about right. So that's it. That's crazy. That's a lot. How many that's... months in quarantine have we been in? How many? How is that in hours? We have been. <laughs> Could you have watched all of One Piece? Wait, almost. Wait, three hundred seventy two yes. divided by twenty. Andrea did. It's Andrea only fi- it's only fifteen and a half days. Yeah. Oh shit! Only fi- that's like nothing. Andrea watched all of uh. That's right. Movies. Yeah. yeah. She did. Oh my god, the Mad Woman. That was hilarious. Watching everyone being like, "I'll never watch One Piece 2. Hey, it's, the, it's actually the best series ever made. <laughs> that, yeah. that was me with Jiru. Pirates One, guys. We all knew this. <laughs> yeah. Pirates, ninjas, and uh, lumberjacks, Grim Reapers. <laughs> oh yeah, that was cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's at the original Big Three: Grim Reapers. Yeah, Bleach, Ninjas. Naruto, and oh, okay. oh, yeah. Pirates. Yeah, and uh, gotcha. One Piece, yeah. But Pirates won. I said that the moment Naruto ended. I was like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah. um, so I wanted to tangent, um, if it. you guys don't mind. Uh, yeah. Some news dropped today. Oh. Um, Variety uh, said that Mulan, the live action Mulan, Ooh. Disney is so, going so, so. to be showing for thirty dollars on Disney Plus. That's a, what. $30? So you have to have a Disney Plus account. On top of you, then have to pay thirty bucks for the Mulan movie. You also have to do that for Black Widow, Marvel's Black Widow. Uh, okay. A couple questions. Do you, you own do not it? Need to then keep it. it's renting. It's renting. It's renting. This hurts me. So this hurts me. I don't. Like I'm on this. two sides. I'm on. T- I'm on two sides. I'm on two sides. Yeah. One of your sides for- is wrong. <laughs> For everyone here, this is outrageous. Yeah. Okay. This is this is a travesty. You're a family of three. This is perfect. Uh. Mm-hmm. Well, how many times do you get to watch it? Well, for the family. I mean, even if you watch it once, it's less than the price of buying three movie tickets. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. Sure. That makes sense. Okay. Like they they are not going to release in theaters at all. Okay. Yeah. So they're missing that. So they're trying to uh, make up for that that buzz. Um. I saw in the same article, uh, in some of the same articles, that like AMC is trying this weird thing where they're only going to show theaters for 17 days instead of the normal 70. But oh, oh AMC. Okay. Yeah, you know, AMC if you just show it in for Universal. a shorter amount of time, it's like testing. If you don't test as much, there won't be as many cases. So if you <laughs> don't feel like show it in theaters as much, nobody died. There'll be well, fewer. It's worse. I feel like <laughs> limiting the window that it's in theaters is going to force people into the theaters quicker. Oh, right. Yeah. Instead of like staggering it out over over time. Yeah. I make it 140 days. Like, hey, yeah. half capacity. Mm. I've heard 28. Um, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Here, here's the one thing, Cole. I think you bring up a good point. Uh, one thing I would say is I don't have children. I have birds. Correct. Um, <laughs> From what I and I have a cat. One from what I do understand about children is they like to watch the same thing over and over and over again. So Cole, 
Um, uh, I would like you to be the parent. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna be your little boy. Okay, and we so you. But hi there, son. Okay, well, hang on. We're still watching the movie, so don't talk during the movie because it's weird. Okay, so well, it's you. you You're screaming during the movie. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a liar. Okay, but here's the thing, right? So you and uh uh my my mama and your wife we've all we've we've yeah. watched the movie together three of us right so ten dollars so per we've person watched the disney pictures mulan live action movie yes and and we each spent ten dollars you know effectively on it right okay i want you to now explain to me why i can't watch it again as a kid because I'm, we have the better version here's the animated film oh, i want to no, i want to i want to watch it again we have the better we, version. We have the. But we know we just film. watched it. I I want to watch what we watched again. Wait, I, wait, went to, wait. I went to the bathroom in the middle of it. Wait, wait, wait. No, because it's it's a if it's a rental, that means it's twenty four hours. I uh, they have not released what the actual details of how long you get it is. Oh okay. Because that's what was tro- what happened with Trolls too, right? It was just a twenty four hour rental. It may be may have been. Yeah, yeah. but that wasn't Disney. I mean, also yeah. True. No. And Disney <sighs> like they like money more. I don't. I just like. <laughs> You were one hundred percent right. You were one hundred percent right. The that... the con the concept of young people and old people are not going to understand. Really young and really old people are not going to understand. I just watched it. Why can't I watch it again? I spent thirty dollars on it. Well, mm-hmm. and also to go back to like looking at the past and how anime has been a uh, pioneer in this. Anime Strike on Amazon failed for this exact reason. Is that uh... you had a subscription to Amazon and then you also had to pay an additional uh, cost to get the Anime Strike. To yeah. watch uh, week to week, um, I don't think it's gonna do well. I mean, I to me, to me, it's the same thing. I mean, the same thing could be said if your kid sees a movie in a theater. I think there's a little bit sure. of a difference just because your kid's yeah. used to watching repeated viewings on their home TV. So that, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. If it's, I mean, you're 100 percent right, but it's like I've left the theater. I can't watch it again. And it's like I could make the case like I want to go back to the theater if I was your boy still. Uh, which I always, I am, and always will be. Um, I, I also think that that happens for kids who see a movie in a theater, and they're like, "Why can't I watch that again?" And that is just the sure. lesson of life, bub. Yeah. The premiere comes out in theaters, and you gotta wait six months to buy the Blu-ray. You do. You do. And you know, I know we like to be positive on this show, but I mean, chances are they're gonna watch Mulan, and and yeah, not want to watch it again. <laughs> Most uh, likely. But, I mean, I, I have my own problems with it where it's there's been a lot of anti Hong Kong sentiments coming out of it that yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm. Mm-hmm. I also wish they would have found an actual uh, Japanese or, or sorry, Chinese director. Um, oh, man. You brought up like the uh, the onions that I have on this as well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The uh, pickled onions. So, uh, yeah. Because they're sour now. My onions are very <laughs> sour about this. Um, they're so pickled. It, and they're so pickled. I think it's interesting because I, I do have to admit, it's like, I do want to support a lot of the people on that cast. Um, sure. Especially uh, because there are, like, certain names in there that I, I, I've i been, like, it's it's a really exciting opportunity. And I know, I think the movie will still make money. I don't think it'll make as much as they definitely wanted. Um, but, hey, they wanted that, chi- that the, yeah, I was about the to money say, from China Disney, money from internationally. So I think yeah. Disney is down back. 42% of profits. Ooh, right now so they're that's a big eggs. they have to figure something out they they're have down... to figure something out this yeah. is like their solution i the did this is just me as an individual um sure uh, go ahead and speak for all of us <laughs> thank you i'm handing you my token this um, is you speak for me now okay uh, <laughs> stop making live action remakes of animated movies you definitely still have my token Okay. I that, yeah. That's, I, I just was kind throw of. That out there. I, just, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I understand they are going to. Yeah. They're yes. going to keep making these because they want money, and it's and guaranteed. They've done money. well. Yeah. Like my hope. Like is we're that saying all that, this, but they did well. My hope Sorry. is that that encourages people to go watch the like what I was saying like in that yeah. <laughs> in that uh, brilliant dramatization. Um, <laughs> that yeah. you can then go hey go watch the original thing it's based off of. Yeah. Here's the animated version, which you will hopefully like better. Yeah. And we can let's let's rent that. Let's buy that. Let's pay Disney Plus for that. Um, watch this. Then you watch Lion King, and then you're like, hey, I like this. Cool. Go watch Kimba. That's what they stole from. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, they're we're, getting, anime. we're getting real deep here. And then they're in the anime, and then you love them because yeah. they're an anime child. Here's B stars. Here's B and A. Go watch yeah, that. Exactly. Then suddenly, he's oh, a you're furry. a furry. 
well, how'd that happen? <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> and not uh, gonna lie, like just just to like put this out there, I definitely bought into it. I watched Beauty and the Beast. May yeah, have I was, I was there yeah, with Yeah, Aaron watched it with me. <laughs> I together. almost I think I watched it twice in theaters. I Whoa. I did cry and like so I enjoyed the experience, I'm not gonna lie, but for this one I have a lot of personal feelings and opinions about it that I'm kinda just like, sorry guys, I might not be on this side of the argument for this. I, I, <laughs> I feel like as a society we should have a rule like for every because I, I I'm you know in the same way too it's like I do like when like games that I like get remade mm. because then I have a chance to play them again like Spyro like that was like my first video game and like playing through that remaster was like that that is how I spent my time off between volume seven and volume eight <laughs> was I 100% in all three Spyro games and it meant a lot to me I also feel like for every remaster there should be like or or like live action remake or whatever there should be like two new ips <laughs> that are greenlit at the same time mm. and they probably won't make as much as the other but like use the old things to fund new things yeah, yeah. did y'all play the new final fantasy did y'all finish the new final fantasy yes seven? i watched my essay i haven't yet. even started it yet i am like halfway through it is the it is what i want every reboot to be mm. right it's great because it's mm -hmm. it's the same but not yeah Yes. It's a completely different play style. It's it's not, you know, I, I don't uh I I'm not a game developer. Uh and I was not on that team. Uh in the same way that like when like Spyro, which is a little bit more of a one to one remake, um mm -hmm. more, not 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 exactly, but more one to one. I have to imagine that having Final Fantasy Seven already made did not necessarily make the re making the remake that much easier oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a completely different game <laughs> yeah. like for that, play for style wise is, for that one i i urge if you're interested in final fantasy final fantasy go play final fantasy 7 to completion if you if you have the time if you have the mm -hmm. ability um it will surprise you it will 100 you're talking about the remake or the uh the remake the remake okay. i say play both honestly sure. like if you have the time Valid. to play both like the first um, the original is actually not that long yeah it's not that long through. i think you get an i think you, there is actually, I think there is a benefit to playing. The, there is more of a benefit to playing the remake if you've played the original than if you have not. And mm. that's not that's not like a oh you get cool things. There is actual stuff in the main story of the game that pays off more if you played the original. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, shit. I gotta go do some homework. Yeah. I mean, and <laughs> I the good thing about the some like, <laughs> some ports and remake too is like if you if you buy Final Fantasy VII the original the ninety seven one. Uh, on any like modern console it has like a fast forward feature and like has some like yep. quality of life oh, stuff that can like help good. too Thank you know God. so it's like i'm all for that i just like i don't i don't know that we need to keep remaking everything mm -hmm. yeah. um oh speaking of uh um what we talked a second ago um uh cole on this show we we don't allow the phrase to completion um if you <laughs> could just remember okay. that to, to, that's a little bit better hot, steamy climax oh, okay God. okay <laughs> That's a little bit better. Also, uh, going back to what we were talking about earlier, um, hey, it's me, your son again. Uh, I had <laughs> hello, son. I, I, I woke up and things were sticky. Can you walk me through that? Oh God! Stop! Well, it seems you've, you've peed yourself, son. No, no, it definitely wasn't pee. You had some pickle pee and you couldn't help nope. it. You nope. whipped out your pickle and <laughs> dookie. No, you took a boom boom. <laughs> it was a new. It was a new thing. A new thing. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's talk, stop. <laughs> talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Oh no. <laughs> she sent me to you. Um, oh my god, that's so this funny. This has been talk the to your friends episode. in middle school. They'll explain it all. Okay, that's all got, I it. Learned. Oh, got it. Got no, it. Google no. things. It's true. Go Google girls in bikinis and just kind of try and figure it out. <laughs> or Google boys. girls in bikinis. Google guys in bikinis. It don't matter. Yeah. 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 You know. <laughs> Google whatever the fuck you want to Google. Bikini, <laughs> bikinis and bikinis. Bikinis and bikinis. Bananas Google. and pajamas, whatever whatever works for you. <laughs> Google the Metroid return, Prime really in a bikini. You won't believe yeah. what you'll find. Yeah. Google Samus, what's under that suit? And we'll find out. Oh. This is the weirdest episode we've ever done. Um, I would like to see if we could hit one one audience question. If that's I like that a lot. Question. Cool. Let's do that. But we even haven't talked about TikTok yet. It, it, I was gonna say it'll be here next week, <laughs> okay. but maybe not. 
I, uh... It's okay. We don't have to talk about it. That's all. That Let's talk all. about it next week regardless. Talk about it next I'm week. still processing some feelings that I have because I've... It's going to be okay, we'll see what, To be it's fair, the, okay. the TikTok news has not fully developed. True. They are still finding out whether it's going to be banned. They're trying to find a parent company in the U.S. Oh. Maybe Microsoft. Oh. Microsoft's interested in buying. If they buy it, cool. TikTok wow. gets to stay around. If they don't, then people are still going to have TikTok. We have uh, <coughs> VPNs. What? Um, one time, <laughs> one time, I slacked a, a Eric Bedore broadcast, and I was like, "We should just make our like Rooster Teeth should make our own TikTok app. Oh like God. now's the time to strike." <laughs> and I don't. He's not going to listen to this. I don't know if he knows. <laughs> that I was 100% serious because I think he thought I was joking. <laughs> oh my God. But I was actually completely serious and was just kind of floating the idea to see the response. And I got my answer. Uh, yes. I, just, I have so many complicated feelings about TikTok. No, you heard it announced here. Rooster Teeth is making our own TikTok. <laughs> yep, Let's that's the social it. clip. It's called... <laughs> I, I, I thought of a name, but I don't think I should say it. Uh, 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 Tyler Stab, who's watching this right now in broadcast, had oh, no. two pretty it. good names. Oh, I get it. it. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say TikTok. Yeah, oh. Tick TikTok or oh, cock talk? No, cock talk. Ah. Uh, uh, um, uh, hey Shane. Yeah. Hey Shane. Can, can, can we go back to the? Actually, real quick, Issa, just real quick, just super, okay. super fast, Issa. Just, Do I'm it. sorry. Okay. Uh, 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 Shane, can we go back to 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 mine and Cole's two up, please? We have we have we have to have a uh, a dialogue. Yeah, I just need to have like a dialogue. Um, Wait, a dialogue. Thank you, okay. thank Hello, you. Sorry for your spot there. Thank oh, you. sorry, son. I'm in my study. What's up? Oh my uh, god. Cock talk. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Never stay okay. in my house again. <laughs> you are disowned. <laughs> be, be gone. Be gone. Thought. <laughs> and, then I, and then I just like I floss out. I just I, I floss as I leave. <laughs> Um. Hey, Isa. Uh, be 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 the good host, please. Let Let's go to an audience submitted question. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is so chaotic. <laughs> Yay! So, at Darmations asked us, "Do you guys ever dip your toes into the other parts of production on the show, like foley, or doing your own animation, or stuff like that?" Uh, of course, that this, is how it's spelled, just so you know. It is, yes. You got so it. So this, in one. of course, goes to everyone, Aaron, yes. Cole. It's not necessarily animation, but if you guys do other parts of production for the show. I mean, definitely as art director now, I'm definitely helping out with other departments a lot more. Like, I've given notes to sound, for sound design mm -hmm. a bit more. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, um, Mark and the VFX team were asking me, like, oh, how did you imagine this effect to look? And I, like, I couldn't, like, draw it out, so I just ended up doing a really shitty animation in Photoshop. Hey, um, cool. Animation. If it works. It moves, and they're like, oh, yeah, I totally, I, I know what that, I know what you want. Um, so I definitely, yeah, it, more recently, I've been, like, kind of, like, dipping my toes, my toesies. Yeah, there's got to be, and this is not on any one person, but there's got to be another phrase. That we could use. I'm gonna Google that while y'all keep answering. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I've done more. I mean, I guess I work with a lot with like merch now too. Cut uh, my teeth. Cutting teeth. That sounds painful. Is that their favorite? Uh, phrase? Okay, hang on. Uh, quick update. I tried to Google the sentence "alternatives for dipping your toes." Oh uh, no! Carrie. And it auto completed with "alternatives for dipping your own nails." Oh. Sounds like a nail tutorial. That sounds, yeah, that's yeah, a nail like salon. A nail tutorial, yeah. Okay. Sorry, moving on. <laughs> we don't have to linger. That's fine. Okay. I'm still I'm still kind of processing, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> I think that's like to me that my uh, the, like honestly besides the people, that's my second favorite thing about Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Is the opportunities that uh, I think are afforded to a lot of people is the ability to dip your toes into multiple fields. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. as my introduction at the beginning of this episode, I am editor normally but then also producer mm -hmm. and host and then um personality we're, personality yeah, we're sure. also looking in like I, i'm even starting to look more into studying uh rigging for some stuff i want to work on oh. coming up eventually um, oh yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> wink <-wonk>. um wink <laughs> but i mean yeah absolutely i, I mean 
I it also helps your job. Like I mean, I know um, one of the directors on Ruby currently, Connor, used to be lead editor. Mm-hmm. Um, part of the process of him making that transition was learning about all the different pi- uh, pieces of the pipeline mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and dipping his toes. And he he learning. Oh, how can I use? Is there a way to use Maya to help the editorial process? Is there a way to use oh. Photoshop to help the the editorial process? Funny, funny story about that. Uh, I think last season Connor started fooling around with Photoshop a bit more. Like he started drawing his own boards. Yeah. Um, and but, once upon yeah, like a, a lot of times we'll do. Uh, uh, I was gonna say yeah, a lot of times we'll do like thumbnails before yeah. we talk to the board artist uh, to kind of yeah. like help get our idea across. Yeah. Like uh, once upon a time when we were still in the office together. He would like slap me, be like, "Aaron, how do I make a new layer?" And I just like walk <laughs> over to his desk, just stuff like that. And oh That's my so god, cute. I know, like I love, I love when the directors draw thumbnails for us because they're just so charming. I love Aww. them. Yeah. They're not the best, but yeah. they get the point across, and they make me laugh. I feel I like love, I like seeing non-artists draw. Yeah. Oh. Paula, like Dustin, and Connor, theirs look pretty solid. That should be like a <laughs> segment like, eventually. Is all of the directors draw a thumbnail? Or draw a board, <gasps> and you have I to want guess that to be which a director. Feature. You have to guess which director, dr- which director drew which board. Oh, that's yeah. a great prompt. Yeah. See, if I you see, that. if you saw mine, you'd be like, "Wait, are we guessing who it was, or are we guessing if they were blindfolded?" Because <laughs> the answer is <laughs> yes. Who it was, or why they would do this? <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, I think the most recent. So ever since kind of transitioning into a director role, I don't normally animate as much as I used to. Um, but Cole hit the nail on the head when he mentioned that one of the coolest parts about working at Rooster Teeth is actually being able to do, like, wear a lot of different hats. Mm-hmm. Um, there, I, there are definitely people who don't prefer doing that, and um, I totally respect that. Yeah, and yeah. if you look at the industry as a whole in general, and especially those, like, mainstream, quote-unquote, standardized companies like Disney, Nickelodeon, the bigger stuff, once you get to bigger companies, um, you have to be specialized because there are people who are very much like, no, we just need this one person to do this one job. Mm-hmm. And that's that's completely valid, frankly. Like, yeah. I, uh, it, yeah. it is like meant to be simple in that way. But then the more you get to like this, uh, I, I guess like the idea of like a climbing the ladder, a higher tier thing um, in terms of roles, you do end up adopting a lot of ed- knowledge about all these different roles. When Rooster Teeth, uh, I was not necessarily just an animator i was also learning how to rig as well so uh we didn't have a technical artist in the 2d team back in the day before um we had Yueta, before we had um all the other artists that we were able to employ so as it it was up to me as lead animator to actually build the models so technically i was also lead technical artist uh once upon a time um but then also one of the other things too, and I think it's it's very often in uh, main main cartoon shows uh, made in the U.S. Um, the way to get to a, being a showrunner or directorship is you have to storyboard. Uh, mm-hmm. the The normal path mm-hmm. is you are a storyboarder first, and then you become a director because you tend to have the most storytelling knowledge from there, especially with how the storyboarding works or the storyboarding area works. So. Um, that I be- I'm nervous about that because I have to do a lot more boarding as a director, but it's actually like, uh, it's fun. Or it, it, yeah. I guess like theoretically, I'm a, also a boarder, but you don't get to see that part yeah. of myself. Yeah. So. My my knowledge of uh, anime is the same. Is the, the, <laughs> the directors tend yeah. to be more storyboard? Like they, you need to be a storyboard artist to be a director. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which um, scares it- me. <laughs> whatever you I do think... don't look at satoshi khan's boards because he basically just straight up animates everything oh i have a book of them yeah oh god yeah. <laughs> it's too late yeah well sometimes i compare like his inhuman. and like hideyako anos and it's like from evangelion and it's like oh i mean they both work though yeah and, like that's the important wild. part but yeah. it just needs to work enough for when it gets to the animator <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. They're the ones who are animating it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's awesome that they're going to put all this like effort in making it perfect, perfect, but it still needs to. The animator still has to animate it, and that's yeah, what yeah. that's what the rule of animation is that there's so many hands touching it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of the hands. All of the hands, unless you touch like them all. Just like baseball. Then... 
Oh well, yeah. You just like take an animator's animation because you're so mad at how oh, no. shitty they did it, and then you oh, just no. animate that's it just not healthy. Yourself. Uh, I well, I remember watching this like one one like a uh, behind the scenes segment with Miyazaki during like Princess Mononoke, and he was like grumbling for like five minutes, just like like why did they choose to do this and then after oh, like no. after like 13 minutes of just drawing he came he comes out with a fucking run cycle that's so much better and it's like oh, god damn old man what? so why good. are you god. right he's right i, I <laughs> wish i loved anything that much <laughs> i wish there was one thing that i love that much uh is it not pickle beer no mm. i love pickle beer <gasps> But, not that but I I would never make a better pickle beer. It's it. This is fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna yank the pickle beer out of the the the, the crafter's hands like you go. Yeah. Clearly you didn't, you're messing you this You didn't up. squeeze the pickle hard wrong. enough. <laughs> yes, you have to. You have to sweet tuck the pickle. You have to take it out no, no, to no. a sushi dinner. You have no. to. Uh... It's sour. You have to torture the pickle. We want. <laughs> oh. We want fogwai pickles. <laughs> oh. Oh my. So, guys, I'm ending it. Okay, I think it's a good nasty, place to end it. Nasty That's boys. Like, great, great. Thanks, everyone. Nasty. <laughs> Couple of nasty pickle boys. Nasty pickle. Oh, I like that. I like that team name for Carrie and Cole, actually. That's a great team name. We're the, we're, we're the, the nasty, nasty pickle boys. boys. Nasty pickle boys. Thought, uh, pickle Carrie, father and son. Carrie, I want to apologize. I feel like that that's me pulling a lot more because you don't like pickles. So that's. Well, that's why I'm nasty. I'm bringing the nasty. He's the nasty. You're the nasty. I'm the pickle. Okay. Yeah, I'm like if you combined Waluigi and Wario together. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's a, that's a very tangible description. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm constantly Cole's gonna like sweating. dump out his pickle juice now and be like, nope. Yeah, <laughs> no, I drank. I drank it. It's oh, not okay. juice. It's beer. Sorry, your pee. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it looks everyone. Like for tuning in thank you aaron and cole for joining us today you're it was welcome lovely to have you thank you carrie for Thanks being for yourself us. and for being amazing and thank you uh, audience and, and thank, thank you isa, and if, isa and is if you haven't or do it again go binge recorded by ours all it's amazing Thanks. yeah it's, Thanks, carrie. you have no excuse not to it's, yeah guys. it's all out it's <laughs> four episodes five, five minute episodes yeah four episodes four five minutes each is 20 minutes of break what are you doing it, yeah, yeah. Jackass. It, it, genuinely, go watch yes. it <laughs> yeah <laughs> If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to I Have Notes. If you guys have notes for us, make sure you leave a comment. And uh, feel free to tell us um, anything you wish. And also whether or not Carrie is right or wrong about pickles. Do you like pickles? Do you like pickles? That's actually a wonderful thing to tell us. Whether you... <laughs> Aaron's, Aaron's writing an essay. She, yeah, she's writing <laughs> out how much she may love pickles. I Thanks, like everyone. Pickles. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>